Hi, this is Aaron and Linda with Traveling Flamingo, and today we're going to go to one of the busiest cruise ports in the Caribbean, San Juan, Puerto Rico. Lots of cruise lines visit here, including Royal Caribbean, Carnival, Princess, Celebrity Cruises, and a bunch of others. We're going to give you a tour of what to experience here if you decide to walk around the port. This can help you understand if you should pick an excursion or not. Stay tuned to find out what we thought and how you can prepare for your day in San Juan. To help organize our video, we're going to go over the arrivals and departures, port atmosphere, food and dining, what's near the port, what you need to bring, as well as our overall thoughts. Let's get started with the arrival and departure experience. San Juan Port is a very popular one with around 500 cruise ships stopping here every year. There can be up to seven cruise ships here at once between the four piers, and there are two cruise terminal buildings. For some cruisers, this will be their port of call on their itinerary, while others it will be their home port to start and end their cruise. There's no need to tender with the four piers. We were sailing with Carnival, which uses Pier 4, and it does have a terminal building. There was a duty-free and a couple of other shops, but for the most part, this was just an area to meet up with your excursion groups. Depending on which pier you are docking at, it could be a bit of a walk along the road to get to the downtown, so make sure you put on that sunscreen. It's not fun starting the day with a sunburn. Not that I'm talking from experience or anything. This takes us into the port and atmosphere. San Juan is the capital of the largest city in Puerto Rico. The pier is close to the downtown, but there isn't too much pier to be walking along. This is not a manufactured port like Costa Maya. If you want to know more about Costa Maya, we do have an updated video you can check out when this one's done. Really, it's about meeting up with your excursion group and getting into the downtown as quick as possible or onto your next adventure. As you exit the terminal building or get to the end of the pier, there is the main street you will walk along to get to the old city. Along the road, there are some local vendors set up selling their products. There's a lot within walking distance to explore. The cruise port is a great location just a few blocks from the historic old San Juan. In terms of food and drink at the terminal building, there is not really anything. It's just a short walk from the downtown where there are tons of restaurants, coffee shops, and different dining options. A fun fact about San Juan is it's actually the birthplace of the Pina Colada. It was created back in 1953, and this is one of my poolside favorite drinks, so you know we had to try one out while we were here. This brings us into what is near the port. The cruise port is in a great location, just a couple blocks from the historic old San Juan. We really enjoyed walking around and appreciating the architecture and shops. Lots of people were taking the opportunity to enjoy the duty-free shopping as well. The Isla Grande Airport is not far. While having breakfast in the morning, we enjoyed the views of planes landing. This was an amazing way to start the day. There are also a couple cool castles you can check out. The Castillo San Felipe del Moro and Castillo de San Cristobal. They are not far from the cruise port either. If you're looking for a beach, you can head over to Leoza. In terms of getting around Puerto Rico, there is a free tram which runs Monday to Friday from 7 to 6 and on Sunday from 9 to 1 and it comes by the stops every hour. There's also car rentals. The nearest one would be the Hertz which is in the Sheraton Old San Juan Hotel. There are taxis to take you around. You can get a taxi for tour for $36 an hour and there are set fares to take you to places like the airport, hotels, convention center and more. This is an awesome port with lots to do right in the city. I would definitely recommend getting off the ship and exploring the unique narrow streets, the forts, and the old city wall. We get asked lots of questions about what to bring to the port and other information. Puerto Rico is an unincorporated U.S. territory and the local language is Spanish and English. The official currency is U.S. dollars. There are ATMs and banks. We also had no issue using our credit cards. But we like to take a little cash with us as backup, just in case our credit cards aren't working. Also, if you're doing an excursion, it's nice to have a little bit of money to tip your tour guide and driver. In terms of what to bring when visiting the port, there is shopping and dining. And if that's what you're choosing to do, you won't need a towel unless you're planning on taking an excursion or heading to a beach. On Carnival Cruises, you only need your cruise card to disembark. 
but we always have our identification with us as well. On other cruise lines, you actually need your identification to disembark. And we have seen people who've got sent back to their rooms and it just makes for a slower start to your day, especially if you're rushing to meet up with an excursion. In Puerto Rico, U.S. citizens do not need their passports, but non-U.S. citizens do. On our backpack, we like to put in some water, sunscreen, extra masks, and our camera. We do like having a backpack because it's easy to carry around and we can put any of our purchases into it. Another thing we like to take with us is a power pack. We've got this really cool two-in-one travel power pack. You can plug it into the wall and it's got two USB charging ports and a USB-C port for more modern devices. But then you can take it with you as a wireless power pack. And when at the port, I do like taking the opportunity to connect with my family and friends, and I see a lot of other people doing the same. It's nice to be able to be recharge your phone and not be left with your phone out of battery, especially if you're using this device for navigating or getting to your various adventures. As we're talking about phones, if you're looking for some free Wi-Fi, there is a Starbucks not too far from the port, just right at the edge of the city blocks there, and other coffee shops also have free Wi-Fi as well. So overall, there isn't too much of stuff right at the port. There is a terminal building with a couple stores inside, but this is not a manufactured port like Costa Maya. And when I say manufactured, I mean a port with restaurants, a pool and stuff right there. So you're not actually going into the city here. You get to you're only a couple blocks to get right into the city. It's a gorgeous city to walk through. This is also a great port to purchase an excursion so you can see more of the island. There's no need to tender, so it makes it super easy to get on and off the ship. Do you have a sailing to Puerto Rico coming up soon? What's your favorite thing to do when you're here? Let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear your opinions. We also have some fun t-shirts on our website, like the Good Vibes and High Tides ones, and they do make for fun family trip t-shirts. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch our video. We hope that you got some insight into the port in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Remember, memories are forever, so make them fabulous. Thanks again for watching and happy travels. Oh,